Pisces, I trust you are well. Thank you for tuning in for your weekly reading from the 19th until the 26th of July. Um, this is for your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. Cross watches are welcome. If the reading does not resonate, I would recommend that you check out your Sun, Moon and Rising sign. Venus sign as well. Success. You've got success, Pisces. And yeah, just thank you for being here and sharing the time with me. I really, really appreciate having you here. Um, yeah, and please like and subscribe. Ring the bell to get more information about the channel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the cards, cards first. Looking deeper. And I'll read this for you. Deep within me is a majestic radiance. Deep within me. Okay. Next. What does Pisces need to know? Most important messages. Look forward. That's what you can see most important messages for Pisces from the 19th until the 26th. Most important messages for Pisces from the 19th until the 26th. The great gathering, it's all coming together. Intuitive hits, soul trauma. And I mean, you Pisces are a very intuitive sign, as with the other water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, um, Pisces, you. So it's telling me that you possibly need to make use of your intuition from the 19th until the 26th. You will possibly receive signs, symbols, your gut feeling will talk to you, you will receive messages that is important to you and you only. Let's see what most important messages for Pisces. Okay, the sun, oh wow, and renewal. A time of great joy and success, brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities, plans that work out perfectly, gratitude to the divine. The sun card, Pisces, this is really beautiful and it coincides with this success. Then you've got renewal, Renew, re reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. Time to heat in a new direction. Clarity on your life purpose. In your heart, you know what to do. Renewal. I'm just going to put that over there. Let's quickly see what does the tarot have for Pisces. Okay, you've got the Three of Cups. This is the first card. Most important messages for Pisces. From the 19th until the 26th. Two of Swords. The Hierophant. I've been picking up that the Hierophant has been coming out for a lot of star signs this week. From the 19th until the 26th. And I do feel it might be regarding contractual agreements. It might be regarding marriages. It might be a Taurus person. You've got the Ten of Cups. And that is just basically going towards the renewal, the sun, and success. Happy home, happy family, stability, abundance, blessings for you for the week of the 19th until the 26th. What else does Pisces need to know? It might be a soulmate connection that is coming towards you with the world card, ending of an old cycle, starting something new. You might be in, um, you know, a decisive decision regarding two people, two situations, two, you know, um, possible opportunities. 
and the general energy is the eight of swords so pisces let's quickly see what's going on because it looks like like a really positive week for you ahead follow your dreams it's asking you to follow your dreams with the renewal card and with the world card and with the star card it's basically telling me that this is the ending of a karmic cycle or this is the ending of an old starting something new you've got the sun card and you've got the great gathering and this is you know again with the three of cups it might mean that there might be some joyous times ahead gathering with friends family and loved ones but there's definitely something to look forward to and this can be in current you know love connections career um, opportunities that's going to present itself to you but look deep within yourself because you have got a majestic radiance and you've got a success card you currently might feel like this Pisces um, that you are in this mental head energy mode possibly overthinking and contemplating but with the star card it's telling you that you will receive abundance and blessings that is you know owed to you that needs to come to you um, this is also the healing card so it might be healing from a recent past situation with the world card it is telling you that you are going to renewal you're going to have this renewal ending of an old cycle starting something new it might be that you are calling in your soulmate with the two of cups or your soulmate might come through to you within this week of the 19th until the 26th it is going to give you a lot of happiness and abundance happy home happy family stability it might mean a marriage in the near future for you with the hierophant but you've got some sort of indecision about a certain matter or a situation or a person that is playing a big role in your life. But I do see with the Three of Cups that there will be a joyous reunion, happy times, happy family. So Pisces, I would not really wonder and worry about this Eight of Swords, you know, energy currently, because the thing is, this is just... A, a mental energy that is now basically taking away from your abundance your happiness you know and your stability and you've got the sun god so possibly think and contemplate and move away from this mental type of energy because with the tangibility there is definitely something positive coming your way. And I mean, the cards says it all. I don't really have to explain anything else to you. Because you will have success. Just look deep within yourself. Look forward. Raise your vibration. There will be possible gatherings. With people getting married. Happy home, happy family. Um, with the three of cups. And I mean, you've got the sun. And I mean, the sun card is the ultimate abundance card in the whole tarot deck. Abundance in love, abundance in blessings, abundance in all ways and forms. Um, that is going to be very important for you in this week of the 19th until the 26th. And I mean, there's renewal. And that's, that's really a beautiful positive card saying that, you are ending an old karmic cycle, possibly. And you are starting with something new. I mean, the zodiac signs that possibly play a big role within this week might be Aquarius person, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, um, then again, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. And then there is some air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, that might play a role within this happy times ahead, abundance going forward, having success in love, life, work, 
Um, and I mean, I do feel this is now the time for you, Pisces. This is now the time for renewal, to have the happy times ahead just for you and your loved ones. So yeah, Pisces, let me know how it resonates for you. Keep well, look after yourself and your family. And yes, remember please to like and subscribe. Thank you.